Watching Panasonic Toyota Racing's TF108 hurtling round a circuit, many aspects of Formula One technology are instantly on show, from aerodynamics to engine power and tyre performance. But underneath the TF108 skin, there's an unseen but hugely important element. Without electronics, the TF108 simply wouldn't function. If you would remove the electronics from the car, the car would not even start, would not run, nothing, no action. You just can look at the car, you can push the car, but nothing else. The TF108 is equipped with a mind-boggling array of electronic equipment. In particular, it's bristling with up to 200 different sensors that feed telemetry data back to the pits. This allows Panasonic Toyota Racing's engineers to closely monitor everything from brake temperatures and oil pressure to complex gearbox processes. The driver, meanwhile, can control some of the car's electronic systems through his fingertips. The steering wheel is the most important interface for the driver. From the steering wheel you can control nearly everything. Especially when there is changing conditions like the weather, from dry to wet, he has to adapt all the settings for the engine, for the differential. Or the gear shift, he really can control the car. And this is the only interface he has, and the only way he can react. The actual controls are simple enough. The driver can select different maps or settings for different systems, such as gear shifting or engine performance. These are the two switches for engine control. In particular, this one allows the driver to change the engine map. He can go from one to two or three, and each map correspond to a different fueling of the engine. Typically, number one is a performance fueling map, and he has then four other possible maps where you can save fuel during the lap. Sometimes it's very important to save fuel for delaying a pit stop, for example. The steering wheel has other switches for other maps. Throttle mapping is particularly important when it comes to launching the car from a standstill. Before 2008, the launch start was uh, completely performed by the electronic system. The driver basically just pressed a button and then he was just passaging in the car. He had to do nothing else. Now it's completely changed. The complete launch, he has to control the throttle and the clutch. Before launching the car, the driver selects one of three throttle maps. These offer different variations on the way the engine reacts to the driver's foot on the accelerator pedal. These variations might take into account, for example, dry or wet conditions at a given circuit. Back in the Panasonic Toyota Racing Factory, the hardware in the loop system gives the electronics department access to a car full of electronics without a TF-108 in sight. They use this to work on engine and throttle mapping, as well as data acquisition systems. Hardware in the loop simulator is basically our core. We can simulate everything, we can play back track data, we can debug problems. It's our car, because the engineer cannot stay in a Formula One car and rebuild any kind of problems. Just like every other F1 car, all of Panasonic Toyota Racing's electronic systems are controlled through this standard component, called the Electronic Control Unit, or ECU. It's a kind of electronic brain. And in Panasonic Toyota Racing's case, it's mounted in a hidden compartment, behind and below the side impact crash structure. Standard ECUs were only introduced at the beginning of 2008, so it's been a challenge for the team to get used to them. You never stop to learn how an ECU works, because each time you need to check the reaction of your driver, of your car, and to tune all the parameters to do the, the best job. So definitely, I would say yes, we are still in our learning phase, but the team did an excellent job, and since the beginning of the year, we have been ready to race with. But I would say still a lot of things to learn. So electronics continue to play an important, but largely unseen part in the Panasonic Toyota Racing Team's ongoing fight to win in 2008.